This is an early Echo device from Amazon. Today I want to show you how it's one of the first commercial applications of embedded Edge AI. This Echo device uses Edge AI just for the wake word. When you say, Alexa, what's the time? Time is 11.27 a.m. It's listening constantly for that wake word and feeding the audio through an edge-based neural network to detect if that wake word is present in the audio it's hearing. But the actual processing of your command happens in the cloud. Now let's tear this device down and see what's going on inside. I'm going to unplug it, sorry Alexa, and take off its lid. The first thing we see is this PCB at the top. This PCB has a nice array of microphones all the way around which allows the Alexa to hear in all directions. In the middle, four ADCs convert the analog signal to a digital signal, and then this ribbon cable connects us to the rest of the board. So underneath these bits of plastic, we have a really big heat sink. Now this is the first indication that we have quite a high powered device because there's obviously a lot of heat being created. If we pop the PCB out, we can see that we've firstly got our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module in here and our antennas at the edge, but also this big metal plate. And under here, you might expect to see a microcontroller because this is a fairly small device. You think it doesn't need that much processing, but actually under here is a full-sized mobile CPU and it's quite powerful. Now, what's it got to do? So we've got the DSP for all of those microphones, the text-to-speech, all of the connectivity, all of the cloud services for getting updates, and then also our wake word algorithm. So the thing that is listening for you to say the words Alexa. Now, how do you build one of those? If we head over to my browser, I can show you a model that I built just now very quickly. So if I say the word Alexa, it pops up as detected by this model. It's a simple neural network with a signal processing front end that takes in audio data, processes it, feeds it to the model, and then tells us the confidence of whether a word is Alexa or some other word. I built this in Edge Impulse very quickly, and you can too. If you head to edgeimpulse.com forward slash sign up, you can try out this engineering tool for free today, and you can use it with any sensor data, whether it's audio, time series, or images, and we can deploy these models to any device. I've got it deployed in the browser now, but you can also get a library that will run on anything from a microcontroller, think Arduino or ESP32, all the way up to CPUs and GPUs. If you want to hear more about the everyday objects in your life that contain Edge AI, then stay tuned and I'll make more videos like this. Just like and subscribe and let us know below.